What's going on everybody? Welcome to the most requested video that I've ever had on my YouTube channel. I'm talking people asking for this video for years. Today we are going to be going over my entire sneaker collection. Now I wouldn't say I have the craziest collection nor the biggest, but definitely every single sneaker does have a special story. So we're going to be going over some of my favorites, some that I low-key hate, and we're going to be giving you guys tips and advice when it comes to your own collection. A lot of the sneakers that you will see in today's video have been purchased from StockX, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But for now, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so it's only right we start off with one of my favorites. We have the 2013 Jordan 1 Royals right here. Woo! All right, so these aren't really my favorite because of the shoe itself. These are my favorite because of the sentimental value they have behind them. Now, a lot of you guys know that I started my YouTube channel basically like three or four years ago, but when I started it, I was dead broke. I had no money, all right, to fund the videos and everything, and it came down to selling all of my sneakers, but this pair right here, for some reason, was the only sneaker that made it out the collection. Like, I literally was down to one sneaker at one point because I was spending a lot of money on editing the videos, uh, shooters, you know, a lot of YouTube things. So basically, when I look at these, man, I just look at how far the YouTube channel has came and you know, I'm really glad that I was able to keep one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. I didn't want to sell these off. I kind of look at these like the sneakers that made it out the fire, basically. So these definitely have a special place in my heart. I'm glad that I was able to keep these sneakers throughout the YouTube struggle. All right, so uh, next sneaker, we got these Royal Foam Posits right here. Shout out to David Fung from the Fung Brothers. I think I was like in fourth grade. I remember going over to his house and he showed me these sneakers right here inside of a Slam magazine. And I was like, those are crazy. These aren't really a sneaker that I would rock nowadays, but kind of cool to have in the collection. Shout out to David. All right, so what do we got? All right, so we got the Platinum Yeezy 2s right here. I kept these dead stock for a while. Then I brought them out to uh, Complex Con for anything for the hype and the McDonald's booth. But I gotta let you guys know, man, it pains me to see these right now. Let me show you. I only rock these one time and the midsole looks like this right now. The paint is chipping, it is cracking. If anybody out there knows how to paint these or what I could do right now, please hit me up. But pretty much these are one of my favorite sneakers of all time, but it really hurts me to see the midsole like this. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. She was rocking the uh, Red Octobers during the McDonald's booth at Complex Con, and we were uh, talking about Yeezys and everything. Nice shoes. Likewise. Nice shoes, nice shoes. But wrapping these up, please let me know if you know how to restore this midsole. So next to what we got the Common Project Chelsea boots. These are one of my favorite shoes right now to rock. I have a worn pair over in the closet, but this pair is dead sock right here. They're kind of between a traditional Chelsea boot and a sneaker because they do not have the same sole. I would say they're a little bit more casual to rock. I know a lot of people have been asking about them lately because I've been wearing them in some vlogs. You know, at first when I got these, a lot of people were trying to clown on me. You know, Tan was like, Gonna be rocking some Chelsea boots like that, and then a few months later, he admitted he's like, "Yo, man, I got, I gotta give it to you. You know, I think I might get a pair." Why y'all matching for though? No, man, I'm not gonna lie. I used to poke fun at Rich for getting these. I was so caught up on like the regular Chelsea boots. My gosh, these are way better. You know what I talked that up to? It's people not understanding the swag immediately. You know, I gotta give them a little time to adapt. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, we got the Common Project Chelsea boots. If you guys are looking for a good casual sneaker to rock, not as formal as a regular Chelsea boot, definitely consider these right here. I rock these very consistently. All right, so earlier we had mentioned StockX is sponsoring this video, so shout out to them. They are doing a $500 credit giveaway. That is crazy, and the rules are pretty simple. So if you're interested, the instructions are in the description box below. Make sure you guys check them out. I would say StockX is pretty much how I buy and sell most of my sneakers, unless they are used. Some of my sneakers still have have this stock X tag on them pretty much if you're buying sneakers you're gonna be able to put a bid in if the seller accepts your bid they have to ship their sneakers to the stock X headquarters and stock X will verify the authenticity of the sneakers then they will put this verified tag on it and then ship you the sneakers basically that's a short summary of how the buying process works and vice versa if you are a seller 
Also super useful to see the current market on sneakers, what they're going for, what's the demand on them. Trust me, I use it all the time. I'm not just saying this. So it's pretty cool that we can partner with each other on this video. But like I said, they are running that $500 credit giveaway. Rules are in the description box. Let's move on to the next sneaker. All right, so next sneaker I wanna show you guys are these original 750s right here. Really cool to have in the collection. They kind of represent, you know, the transition from Kanye going from Nike to Adidas. I got these from Index PDX in Portland. So shout out to them. Really cool guys at that store. Super grateful that I have these in the collection. You know, you don't see these too often. All right, so these two sneakers right here, we got the shadow one lows, we got the highs. I've been kind of waiting to undies the highs, but the lows right here, man, trust me, do not sleep on these. You know, some of my sneakers are pretty hyped, but a lot of the sneakers that I wear consistently are pretty low key, like these ones right here. So next sneaker row, we got the Chicago off-white ones. I cannot believe that I wrote Sky Pilot on these. One letter chill. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever rock these, but they're definitely a cool sneaker to have in the collection. You know, we always keep them in the background and whatnot. But shout out to Sky. He is really on doggy vacation right now, all right? Or else he'd be walking around right now, but shout out to the Air Sky Pilots. All right, so moving on to a sneaker, I have no idea why I even have two pairs of these. We got the John Elliott LeBrons. We're not gonna spend too much time on these. If you guys saw my top five sneakers that I hate in 2018, you guys know how I feel about these. If you're interested in picking them up, hit me up. These right here, you know, I call these the Little Waynes. I actually bought these from round two during my birthday, and they told me that Little Wayne and his entourage came in with their stylist, and he actually sold these to round two. So I bought these like the day after he brought them in, and uh, he wore these during a concert, I think. So, you know, I can smell that little Louisiana pride, the crawfish right up in the sneakers. But uh, anyways, the Little Waynes right here, not the Don C's. Kind of cool to have. Also, I have two pairs of these Nigel Sylvester Air Force Ones. I don't really need two pairs, so if you're interested in these, hit me up. Really quickly, we got these J-Rods over 10 years old. Tan actually won these from Complex Con, but if you guys don't remember in the vlog, he was saying that they are too small for him. Uh, Tan, where are your shoes at? Look, man. <laughs> Them shoes actually too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cool sneaker to have. They have the Zoom Air. They got the Nike SB Tongue. Shout out to Tan for these. Last sneaker I want to show you guys in my collection are these 99 Sixes. I got to ask you the question. Do you think these are wearable? These are over 18 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean, there's no signs of them cracking, but I know the risk of rocking shoes of this age. I do not want these to crumble, so I have not rocked these. I heard they're kind of retroing, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think these are safe to rock right now? I mean, the midsole, it's firm. It's not like, you know, there are no hairline cracks or anything. They've just been stored in their box. I mean, you guys let me know. Leave a comment down below. Do you guys think these 99 sixes are wearable or should I just keep them dead stock in the collection? I mean, they are retroing, so. But who knows, I mean, if I did wear them, I should probably bring a pair of sneakers as a backup. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the entire sneaker collection video. None of this was to flex on you guys or anything like that. You know, I just wanted to go over some of my favorites, some stories. Like I said, you know, at one point, it came down to one sneaker in my collection because I had to fund the YouTube channel. So I'm definitely grateful for every single sneaker that I own. And also, let me know what your favorite sneaker was. And if you guys want more videos like this, I could do a, like a whole collection video on my jackets or, you know, Supreme pieces or, you know, anything really so let me know if you guys like the collection of videos and that's pretty much it thank you guys for the support lately make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit the bell notifications and until next time i'm out peace like i said StockX is doing a giveaway rules will be in the description box below and that's pretty much it and until next time i'm out peace